popped on Twitter this morning and I saw a big headline that said, Rachel Ziegler wins Best Action Hero of the Year at the People's Choice Awards. And I was like, wait a minute, what? Is that a real thing? And then I, I scrolled through and you you get to Action Movie Star of the Year. Ah, I don't want that to be small. Ah. Action Movie Star of the Year goes to Rachel Zegler for The Hunger Games. <laughs> which is hilarious. You know, people's choice. Which people? Which people are choosing her as the biggest action star? Like, if you like the movie, cool. If you like her as an actress, cool. But that's not the category. Best action star of the year? Like, we're literally talking about a year where we had Keanu Reeves in John Wick 4. <laughs> like, John Wick 4. Like, true epic action stuff that will go down in the history books that we will be talking about for decades. It is like the benchmark for action stunt work. The best that you can do. We had the, the fourth and the biggest one of those come out. We had Tom Cruise ride a motorcycle off of a cliff at 60 years old. But Rachel wins as a songbird. If you haven't seen the movie, she, she's a songbird. She sings songs. She's not an action hero. She's not war, you know, whatever her character's name is, warrior princess. She like barely survives. That is astounding to me. And you look at the category. Also, Viola Davis was nominated for the Hunger Games prequel, which she is not an action character in that movie. <laughs> like, she's like a, a, like a lab person creating a bunch of crazy weird stuff. She's not running around with a machine gun or an axe or getting in fist fights. Action hero of the year contender. Who could it be? Viola Davis for the Hunger Games. I mean, this stuff is just bizarre. Uh, and some of these other ones, like big movie stars and action films, fair enough. But if, you go, if you're going to give Gal for Heart of Stone, how do you not have Chris Hemsworth for Extraction? Both of them are Netflix movies. Extraction is a better movie Better stunt work. But so if we're going to play this game, how on earth is Chris Hemsworth not in there for Extraction, which has incredible, like, up there with John Wick, but a different version of it, less kind of flashy and stylized, not nominated. So as I saw that this category was insane, I went, what else is, is happening with the best movies of the year? What do we have from the People's Choice uh, we got Fast X, Best Movie of the Year nominee, Taylor Swift, Little Mermaid, Super Mario Brothers. Like, they're, I get people, like, it's just a popularity contest, but it's like, it's like you're admitting that's all it is. That there's no like, greater exploration of film, cinema. People don't need to have seen a bunch of things. It's just what's popular. Then Action Movie of the Year. Once again, all of these big comic book movies. You have John Wick 4. A true action movie, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1, tremendous stunt work. What wins best action movie of the year? The Hunger Games. Best action movie of the year. Not John Wick 4. Not Mission Impossible. Not Extraction. No, 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 no. We had Hunger Games come out. What did these people watch? That this is the as funny as these ones uh, we've been talking about have have been as funny as they've been. Nothing is as funny as the the drama movie of the year. Also, that it's called the drama movie of the year is pretty funny. What is nominated for drama movie of the year? Creed three. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I I I'd, I'd accept that. Uh, the the Rocky movies when they've they've been the good ones, they're at the core of them is the dramatic journey that our characters are on. Next one on here. Dramatic movie of the year nominee. Five Nights at Freddy's. Can, can, can you, like, if you're the, if you run people's choice and you're, like, wanting to be taken seriously, if you, any credibility to this, you have to look at that and go, oh, no. We're a joke. Five Nights at Freddy's drama movie of the year. Just, just ridiculous. Killers of the Flower Moon. Okay. But seeing these next to each other, 
Five Nights at Freddy's next to Killers of the Flower Moon, you just immediately go, what are we doing here? What are, What is going on here? Then you have Megan. I really enjoyed Megan, but what is it doing here? Scream 6 and our winner Oppenheimer. All right, you got the right, you picked the right movie. At least the right movie won. At least the movie that won fits in the category. Now, ha and then you think of like all the movies that have been nominated and aren't nominated. You got Five Nights at Freddy's in here, but they didn't put Barbie in here. Like Barbie, nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, but not Best Drama Movie of the Year for these guys, but they put Five Nights at Freddy's in here. What are we doing? And so then, you know, male star, movie star of the year, Ryan Gosling, Margot Robbie, fair enough. They, they were the stars of the biggest movie of the year. Fair enough. I'm not going to argue that one too much. Final one to talk about, the drama movie star of the year, which once again is a hilarious, hilarious way to describe this. The drama movie star of the year. What's what's up first? Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer? All right. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Julia Roberts, Leave the World Behind. Seems pretty random. Seems like you just want to throw Julia Roberts in there. Uh, Fantasia for the color purple. Yeah, she's been getting a lot of nominations. Florence Pugh, Oppenheimer. Uh, sure, Florence Pugh. Uh, smaller role, but fair enough. Jacob Elodi, he's had a good year. I guess I get it. Leonardo DiCaprio, Killers of the Fight. Sure, what do we got? Michael B. Jordan, Creed Three. Gave, gave a great performance. But who's our winner? Who is the drama movie star of the year? Jenna Ortega for Scream 6. What? <laughs> Jenna Ortega for Scream 6, drama movie star of the year. What on earth are we doing? That is hilarious. But kind of going back to what I said at the beginning, if uh, or what I've said all throughout this, like if you're trying to get your award show to be taken seriously... And people to like view it as something that has value, merit, that if you win one of these, it means something. They've got to look at this and go, oh, crap, what have we done? We, we've taken the concept of action movie and made it meaningless. We've taken the idea of drama movie start, made it meaningless. We've taken the idea of drama film and made it meaningless. These labels mean nothing. And the winners in these categories are so random and nonsensical that if you win one of these, it means nothing, nothing at all, because it's nonsense. The labels, the categories, the winners, it's random. It's just some sort of popularity contest that makes a fool of the, like, all of this, just foolish, foolish, foolish. Drama Movie Star of the Year, Jenna Ortega, Scream 6. Yikes. Action Movie of the Year, The Hunger Games. Action Movie Star of the Year, Rachel Ziegler, The Hunger Games. What are we doing? Anyway, I saw this. I just had to rant. Had to have some fun with this one because it was so hilarious and insane. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30-minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.